behalf of God the Father, Mungu, Baba, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, you are welcome to this Covenant Sunday of Exemption. And we are looking at the secrets to abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. Secrets to abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. And we are looking at the power the Passover mystery of the blood of Jesus. Part 2. The Passover mystery of the blood of Jesus. Part 2. We saw last Sunday that one of the mysteries that God has given to us for our preservation, for our protection, for victory, and for longevity is the Passover mystery of the blood of Jesus Christ. And the Passover mystery of the blood of Jesus Christ is a two-dimensional ministry. The first part is the communion where we partake the body and the blood of Jesus. And the second part is the blood of sprinkling. The blood of sprinkling. And we have been looking at the blood of sprinkling. So the blood of sprinkling is God's provision for the covering, for the protection, for the preservation of the saints is a mystery ordained by God when applied it delivers preservation it delivers protection it delivers covering for the saints at this mystery was given to the first pastor of the Old Testament church who was Pastor Moses. Moses was the first pastor of the Old Testament church. And God delivered the mystery of Passover to Moses to apply to the first church for their covering, for their preservation, for victory, and for longevity. In Acts chapter 7, Acts chapter 7, verses number 37, Acts 7, 37, this is that Moses, which said unto the children of Israel, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto your brethren. Like unto me, him shall you hear. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness with the angel who spoke to him in the Mount Sinai and with our fathers who received the lively oracles Give to give unto us. Moses Musa received alipokea. lively oracles to uzima. give unto us. Now it begins to say, Moses ilia. was a prophet Musa nabi. and then he says, Anasema. it was the pastor Akawa of the church in the wilderness. Kule this is it that was in the church in the wilderness kule when the angel will speak to him na na in yeye. Mount Sinai, Sinai with our fathers na Baba Zetu, who received the lively oracles to give unto us ya they sisi. received lively oracles, lively mysteries, lively instructions to give to us. The Bible does not say to give to them. To give to us. Moses received the mysteries, received the instructions to give to us. 
He didn't say to give to them. That means what gave to Moses that applied at that time applies to us in this dispensation. He didn't say that what God gave to Moses was only for the Old Testament church. No, he received this for the Old Testament church and he received it to give it to us. He received lively oracles to so give to us, us, not to them, us. And one of the mysteries that Moses received was the mystery of the Passover. So he received the mystery of the Passover to give it to us. So the mystery of Passover that Moses applied in the Old Testament, it also applies to us today. So God introduced it. When did Moses receive the mystery of the Passover? He received in Exodus 12. Let's go to Exodus 12. Exodus chapter 12. Verses 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of month. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak here to all the congregation of Israel saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb according to the house of their fathers. A lamb for an house. And of the house, if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next door to his house take it according to the number of the souls. Every man according to his eating shall make your account for the lamb. Your, your lamb shall be without blemish. A male on the first year, you shall take it out from the sheep and from the goats, and you shall keep it up until the 14th day of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening, and they shall take off the blood, strike it on the two side posts, and on the upper door of the post of the houses, wherein they shall eat it, and they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with the fire, and living bread, and with their bitter herbs, they shall eat it. Verse 11. And they shall eat it with your loins guarding, your shoes on your feet, your stuff in your hand. You shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. It is the Lord's what? Passover. This is when Moses received the oracle of the mystery of Passover. And he did not receive it for the Old Testament saints. He also received it for us. Point one to take. The mystery Siri. of the Passover Yapasaka. is performed with the blood of Jesus. Yapanika na damu ya Yesu. The blood of the Lamb damu ya without blemish. Asia na doa lolote. The Bible says in Exodus 12, verses 5, Tana. Your lamb shall be without blemish. A male of the first year, you kwanza. shall take it from the sheep and from the goats. So the blood to apply for the Passover, ya kwa the blood to apply for sprinkling, damu ya must be from a lamb without blemish. And to us, na kwetu, that lamb without blemish is Jesus Christ. Ni Yesu Christo. 
Jesus Christ came yes, as a lamb without blemish was crucified shed his blood so that we can take his blood and use it to do the blood of sprinkling 1 Peter chapter 1 1 Peter chapter 1 verses number 18 for as much as you know that you are not redeemed with corruptible things as if and go from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers but with the precious blood of Christ with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot the blood of the Passover is performed from the Lamb without blemish and to us that Lamb without blemish is Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verses number 7 1 Corinthians 5 verses number 7 Patch out therefore the old living that you may be a new lamb as you are unliving. For even Christ our Passover lamb is sacrifice for us. For who? Not for them. For us. For even Christ, Christo, who is our Passover lamb, is sacrificed for us. Why? Verses 8. Nane. Let us therefore keep the feast. Christ, Christo, our Passover lamb, Christo, is sacrificed for us so that we can use his blood to keep the feast so that we can use his blood to do the blood of sprinkling so the Passover Feast is performed with the blood of Jesus in the New Testament. Jesus Christ is our Passover lamb and the blood that is shed is available for us to perform the Passover. Number two point, we just remind ourselves the blood of Jesus can be sprinkled on property and the blood of Jesus can be sprinkled on people. Exodus 12 verses 7 and they shall take of the blood strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door post of the houses wherein they shall eat it that is the blood of Jesus being sprinkled on things sprinkled on property sprinkled your house sprinkled on your business sprinkled on your roof sprinkled on your vehicle so the blood of Jesus can be sprinkled on property also the blood of Jesus can be sprinkled on people Exodus 24 8 Exodus 24 8 and Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said behold the blood of the covenant which the Lord has made with you concerning all this world he took the blood and sprinkled it on the people so the blood of Jesus can be sprinkled on people can sprinkle it on your property and you can sprinkle it on the people. How do we perform the Passover? How did God tell Moses to do it? That is how we do it. The only difference they use the blood of animals we use the blood of Jesus. Number three point to take. The mystery of Passover is to bring 
the attention of God into your life. When you do it, you provoke God to intervene in your life. It's a mystery that provokes God's intervention in your life. Exodus 12, verses 14. And this day, shall be unto you for a memorial and you shall keep it a feast to the Lord throughout your generation keep it a feast to the Lord not a feast to your bishop not a feast to your denomination keep it a feast to the Lord Every time you do, the mystery of Passover, you are provoking God's intervention in your affairs. When you do it, you bring God's attention into your life. You provoke God to get involved in your life. It shall be a feast to the Lord. To the Lord. You are not doing it to your denomination. You are not doing it to your bishop. You are doing it to bring God into your situation. You are doing it provoking God to get involved in your life and change your situation. So the mystery of Passover is done to the law. You do it to attract God. You do it to provoke God to give you attention. You do it to bring God into your situation. Number four. Verses 14 still. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial. And you shall keep it a feast to the Lord throughout your generation. You shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. So the mystery of Passover is to be done forever. Forever. It was not a mystery for the Old Testament church only. The Bible says, Moses received the oracles for us. Yes, so it's a mystery that is to be done forever. Every time you do it, you do it unto the Lord. You provoke the attention of God. You provoke God to come to your situation and change your situation. What are the benefits? Of the Passover mystery applied by sprinkling. Number one, we saw it destroys the forces of untimely death and the forces of the grave from your life. Zechariah chapter 9, verses 9. Rejoice greatly. O daughter of Zion, shout O daughter of Jerusalem, behold thy king cometh unto thee. He is just, having salvation, lowly, riding upon an ass, and upon a coat, the fall of an ass. And this is a prophecy concerning Jesus Christ. And I will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem and the battle bow shall be cut off and he shall speak peace to the heathen and his dominion shall be from sea to heaven to sea from the river even to the ends of the earth and as for you also Jesus Christ by the blood of the covenant I have sent forth thy people that I prisoners on the the dead throw out of the pit where in is no water. Amplified Bible says by the blood of Jesus applied by sprinkling I have delivered your people that are prisoners of the devil that are on the death row from going to the pit that has no water and that is the grave. 
God is saying, Jesus, yes, by your blood, yako, applied by sprinkling, I have delivered your people that Satan has taken as prisoners and they are on the death row. I have delivered them from going to the grave. Kaburini. So the blood of Jesus applied by sprinkling would destroy the forces of untimely death would destroy the forces of the grave out of your life. As the blood touches you today all the forces of untimely death all the forces of the grave will be destroyed out of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, the blood of Jesus applied by sprinkling is a stronghold of security. Zechariah 9, 12. Turn ye to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope. God is speaking to the prisoners that have been delivered from the death row. God is saying, now that you have been delivered from dying and from going to the grave, turn ye to the stronghold of security, you prisoners of hope. So the blood of Jesus applied by sprinkling is the stronghold of your security. How does it work? Look at Exodus 12.13. Exodus 12.13. Are you there? Exodus 12.13. And the blood shall be to you a token or a mark upon the houses where you are. When I see the blood, I will pass over you and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. God is saying, when I see the blood, I must see the blood. So the blood must be sprinkled on you. And then I will see the blood. I will pass over you. I will cover you. And the plague and the destroyer shall not enter to destroy you. That is why the blood of Jesus is a stronghold of security. When the blood is sprinkled on you, God will see the blood. God will cover you. And he will not allow the plague and the destroyer to destroy your life. As the blood touches you today, your life will be covered in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, the blood of Jesus sprinkled becomes a platform for restoration of prosperity. Zechariah chapter 9, verses number 10. Turn yet to the strongholds of prisoners of hope. Even today, do I declare that I will render double unto thee. Double of what? Double of your former prosperity. Amplified version. It says, as it's 12, return to the stronghold of security and prosperity. You prisoners of hope, even today, do I declare that I will restore double your former prosperity to you. I will restore double double your former prosperity to you. So when the blood of Jesus is sprinkled on you, it becomes a platform for God to restore to you double your former prosperity. And that is what God did in Egypt. After the Passover, God gave the children of Israel favor and all the wealth that their ancestors were not paid. Their grandparents were not paid. Their parents were not paid. And themselves 
they were not paid. Now when you have a kulipo, wages, wealth, riches, precious money, tajiri na mali na fedha, for 400 years, wa miaka mia inne, was paid in one day. Walilipo na siku moja. After the Passover, baada ya Pasaka hiyo. After the Passover, Pasaka, God gave the children of Israel favor. Kibali. And by that favor, hicho, wealth was transferred from the Egyptians kwa kwa into the hands of the children of Israel. God promised that he will give the children of Israel favor. Exodus chapter 3, Utoka tatu. verses 21. Moja. Exodus 3:21. Utoka 3:21. Are you there? Exodus 3:21. And I will give these people favor. Nami nitapewa watu hawa kibali. In the sight of the Egyptians. Machoni pa Misri. And it shall come to pass. Na itakuwa. That when you go. Utakapoondoka. You shall not go empty. Amtaenda mkono tupu. But every woman. Kila mwanamke. Shall borrow of her neighbor. Ataitisha kwa jirani yake. And over the sojourner in her house. Na yule akae kwa nyumba yake. Jewels of silver. Vyombo vya fedha. Jewels of gold. Vyombo vya dhahabu. And raiment. Mavazi. And you shall put them upon your sons. Mtavika wana wenu. And upon your daughters. Na mabinti zenu. And, upon, and you shall spoil the Egyptians, children of Israel, Israel, that he will give them favor. But when did God give them favor? God gave the children of Israel favor after they applied the Passover. Favor came after the Passover. So when you apply the mystery siri, of Passover, ya pasaka, you become a candidate to receive God's favor. God's favor will bring restoration of your former prosperity. Hello? Look at Exodus chapter 12, verses 35. Exodus 12, 35. Or before we do 35, read verses 28. Exodus 12, 28. And the children of Israel went away and did as the Lord had commanded. They took the communion and applied the sprinkling. As Moses and Aaron did, so did they. Verses 35. And the children of Israel did according to the word of Moses. And they borrowed of the Egyptians jewels of silver, jewels of gold, and, raiment, and the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. So they lent unto them such things as they required and they spoiled the Egyptians. So when they did what Moses told them to do, when they did the Passover, after they did the Passover, then God gave them favor. And that favor brought restoration of prosperity. So when you apply the mystery of the Passover, expect favor. And with favor, expect restoration of your former prosperity. So as the blood is sprinkled on you, God will give you double your former prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything the devil stole from you, anything that was diverted, anything that was in that, as the blood touched God's favor will come upon you and there will be double restoration of your former prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ. What does favor do? Number one, favor makes life easy. Makes life what? Easy. All the wealth, all the riches that they could not get for 400 years, one day of favor, they received it in one day. What they couldn't get for 400 years, by favor, it was given to him in one day. One day. Favor makes life easy. 
what they could not get for 400 years they got it in one day by favor favor makes life easy as the blood touches you may God's favor come upon you the remaining days of this year may God make life easy for you in the name of Jesus Christ number two favor Makes doors to open before you. Favor. Makes doors to open up for you. Before. Kabla, no Egyptian akuna yote could open door for the children of Israel. Yote. To knock on the house of an Egyptian. Ubisha kwa nyumba wa Misri. A slave, Mtumwa. because the children of Israel were slaves. For a slave Ili to knock on the door of your master, kwa ya and you are demanding gold. Na that is a death penalty. Iyo ni mauti without favor. Bila kibali. So favor kibali. opens doors before you. It is favor ni kibali. that made the Egyptians to misri. open doors for them. After this blood of sprinkling, favor will come upon you. And those that could not open before, God will open the doors in your favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Favor, number three. Favor will make people that had forgotten you to suddenly remember you. People that had forgotten you will suddenly remember you. That is what favor would do. It makes people who had forgotten you to remember you suddenly and to be a blessing to your life. As this blood touches you today, favor will come upon you. Everyone that had forgotten you, they will remember you and to be a blessing to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Help people that are supposed to help you. Help us of destiny that had forgotten you as the blood touches you, they will remember you and they will help you in the name of Jesus Christ. So favor causes people who had forgotten you to remember you. Number four, favor makes you to enjoy overflow of blessings. Blessings pursue you and overtake you. They pursue you and overtake you. You enjoy overflow of blessings. Number four benefit of the blood of sprinkling. God will be seen over your life. When the blood of Jesus is sprinkled on you, God will be seen over your life. Zechariah 9.14 and the law shall be seen over them. Who are them? Them that have been sprinkled with the blood. God will be seen over them. What will be seen doing? Number one, God will be seen protecting you. God will be seen preserving you. God said in Exodus 12, 13, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. I will cover you. The plague and the destroyer will not enter to your houses. So God will be seen protecting your life. God will be seen preserving your life. Number two, what will God be seen doing? Executing judgment against your enemies. Exodus 12, 12. Exodus 12, 12. Are you there? Exodus 12, 12. Let's read. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. Both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt. I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. I will execute judgment against all your oppressors. 
God will be saying, executing judgment against all your oppressors. So as the blood touches you, every counsel of hell oppressing you, God will smite them in the name of Jesus Christ. All the idol gods operating in the land of Kenya that are oppressing your life, God will destroy them from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. So when the blood is sprinkled on you, God will be seen over your life, protect you, preserving you, God will be seen over your life, executing judgment against your enemies. Number five, what will God be doing? What are the benefits? The arrows of God will go forth as lightning to paralyze all the satanic plans and to destroy all your enemies. When the blood of Jesus is sprinkled on you, the arrows of God go forth as lightning to paralyze the satanic plans and to destroy all your enemies. Look at Zechariah chapter 9. Verses number 14. The Lord shall be seen over them. And his arrow shall go forth as lightning. His arrow shall go forth as lightning. So God has arrows. God has what? Arrows. And his arrow shall zake. go forth in a supersonic speed and hit the target. And the mahali. arrows of God cannot miss the target. So when the blood of Jesus is sprinkled on you, the arrows of God are released to smite your enemies. They are released to destroy satanic plans. They are released to scatter your enemies. So as the blood of Jesus touches you, God's arrows will fight for you in the name of Jesus Christ. God's arrows will scatter your enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. God's arrows will destroy your enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. Deuteronomy 32. The book of Deuteronomy 32. Verses 23. Deuteronomy 32, 23. Are you there? Deuteronomy 32, 23. I will heap mischiefs upon them. I, the Lord, will spend my arrows upon them. So God has arrows that he spends on his enemies who are also your enemies. I will spend my arrows and the arrows of God never miss the target. I will spend my arrows upon them. So when the blood of Jesus is sprinkled on you, God spends his arrows against your enemies. So as the blood touches you today, all the counsel of the witches, the Ocos, the sorcerers, the diviners, the freemasons, every counsel of hell will be smitten by the arrows of God in the name of Jesus Christ. All of them that have troubled your life, all of them that are mocking you as the blood of Jesus touches you the arrows of God will smite your oppressors in the name of Jesus Christ look at Deuteronomy 32 42 are you there 42 I will make my arrows drunk with blood. 
and my sword shall oh. devour flesh Upanga wangu nao utakula nyama and that with the blood of the slain pamoja na damu ya walio wao na walio tekwa nyara the beginning of the revenge upon the enemy i will make my arrows drunk with blood italewesha mishale yangu kwa damu that means the arrows of god will hit the target maisha mishale ya mungu itagonga lengo lake and cause blood to be shed na kusababisha damu yao kumwagika as the blood touches you today in the camp of your enemies they will be cry in the name of Jesus Christ they will be mourning in the name of Jesus Christ look at second samuel alia samueli wa pili chapter 22 shina mbili second samuel 22 samueli wa pili shina mbili verse 14 tari wake 14 the lord thundered from heaven and the most i uttered his voice he sent out arrows akaachilia mishale yake as katadem nasikawatawanya lightning kamaradi and this confited them nakawakomesha he sent out arrows akaachilia mishale katadem like lightning nakawatawanya kamaradi katadem nakawatawanya Every council that has gathered against you Bila kusanyika waliosanyana dhidi yako with intention for evil wakiwa na nia mbaya the blood touches you damu hiyo inapokuja of God will go against this thing Mishale ya Mungu itaenda upande wao Cut them in the name of Jesus Christ Na kuwatawanya wote kwa jina la Yesu Whatever evil anybody is planning against you Mabaya yote yanakupangia It will not succeed in the name of Jesus Christ Haita faulu kwa jina la Yesu It will not prosper in the name of Jesus Christ Haita fanikiwa kwa jina la Yesu So as the blood touches you damu hiyo inapokufikia arrows mishale like lightning kamaradi was cut itatawanya the castle of hell kusanyiko la jahanamu that God gave the show in the name of Jesus Christ ambao wamesanyana kinyume chako kwa jina la Yesu Psalms 18 Saburi 18 Psalms 18 verses 14 Psalms 18 Saburi 18 verses 14 Ari wake wa 14 Are you there Ye he sent out his arrows akaachilia mishale yake akatadem akawatawanya you are being told story niambia story what happened nini ilifanyika he sent out his arrows aliachilia mishale zake nini kafanyika he scattered zikawatawanya and he shot out lightning akaonyesha rangi zake and this confited them na akawakomesha that will be your story today in the name of jesus christ and your story utasimulia leo this blood of sprinkling you will say he sent out his arrows utasema alituma mishale and scatter them in the name of jesus christ utawatawanya kwa jina la yesu in the gang ups in your workplaces usanyiko lote mahali pa kazi in your neighborhood kwa ujirani wako every council of hell bila kusanyiko la jana scatter today in the name of jesus christ utawanya leo kwa jina la yesu in jesus name number 6 ya sita What is the benefit? God yes. shall go forth as whirlwinds of the south. Mungu anatokea kama upepo wa kisulisuli. Clear your enemies. Ili aondoe kabisa maadui zake. To clear the obstacles. Kukomesha vizuizi. And one says blockages out of your way. Because of pingamizi toka njiani mwako. Zechariah 9:14. And the Lord shall be seen over them. Bwana Mungu ataonekana kwao. His arrow shall go forth as lightning. Mishale yako itokee kama ngadi. And the Lord shall go shall blow the trumpet. Bwana Mungu atapika tarumbeta. And shall go with whirlwinds of the south. Atatokea kama upepo wa kisulisuli ya kusini. Shall go as whirlwinds of the south. Mungu anatokea kama upepo wa kisulisuli. You know the wind that goes round. Je, hiyo upepo inaenda hivi round? Eh? That wind that goes round upepo ambayo inazunguka hivi clearing everything on the way ikiondoa kila kitu njiani God is saying he will go as a whirlwind Mungu anasema anaondoka kama upepo huo mbele yako to clear your way ili asafishe njia yako He will go atatoka as whirlwind of the south kama upepo wa kisulisuli to clear your enemies asafisha ondoe maadui toka njiani mwako to clear the obstacles asafisha ondoe vizuizi vikwazo the blockages pingamizi out of your way toka njiani mwako to create an easy passage kutengeza njia rahisi pathway for you to prosper ili ufanikiwe for you to succeed ili ufaulu zaidi for you to flourish na ustawi zaidi for you to go forward in the name of jesus christ katika jina la yesu He will go as whirlwind. Anatoka kama upepo kisusi. When will he go? Ataenda wakati gani? As whirlwind. Kama upepo huo. When the blood is sprinkled on you. Damu hiyo ikinyunyizwa kwako. He will go as whirlwind. Anatoka kama upepo kisusi. Psalm 58:9. Saburi 58:9. Psalm 58:9. Saburi 58:9. Psalms 58 verses 9. Are you there? One, two, three. Let's read. 
before your pots Kabla can kill the tons, it shall take them away as with a whirlwind before li both living and in his rot. Before your pots can fill the tons, he shall take them away as with a whirlwind before your enemies execute their plans. God will carry them with the whirlwind. He shall take them away as with the whirlwind. Before your enemies execute their plans on you, God will take them with the whirlwind out of your way. Therefore, I declare the remaining days of this year, whatever the enemy is planning, it will fail in the name of Jesus Christ. As the blood touches you today, every plan of the enemy will be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. All the enemies of your destiny, God will silence them today in the name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 40, verses 24. Isaiah 14, Isaiah Rubaini, verses 24. Are you there? Verses 24. Yea, they shall not be planted. Yea, they shall not be sown. Yea, their stalks shall not take root in the earth. And they shall also blow upon them. They shall wither. And the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. The whirlwind shall take them away as rubbish. Before your enemies execute their plans, God will blow them as rubbish into the dumping site in the name of Jesus Christ. It will blow them away to the dumping site in the name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 41.16 Isaiah 41.16 Let's read. Thou shalt find them and the wind shall carry them away. The whirlwind shall scatter them. The whirlwind shall scatter them. Thou shalt rejoice in the Lord. Thou shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. Thou shalt find them. The wind shall carry them away. The whirlwind shall scatter them. So as this blood touches you today, God's whirlwind will scatter all your enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. Lastly, in this part, Jeremiah 29, 19. Jeremy, Jeremiah 29, sorry, Jeremiah 23, 19. Jeremy 23, 19. Are you there? One, two, three, let's read. Behold, Tazama. a whirlwind of the Lord has gone forth in fury. Even a grievous whirlwind, it shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. A whirlwind of the Lord. A whirlwind of what? The Lord. A whirlwind of the Lord is gone forth in fury. Even grievous whirlwind, it shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. So any wicked that has been working against you, any wicked that has contributed to your pain and sorrow, as the blood touches you today, the whirlwind of the Lord will fall upon their heads and will blow them away in the name of Jesus Christ. Will silence them in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus name. Number seven. When the blood of Jesus is sprinkled on you, then God, commanding a battalion of angels, will defend you. Zechariah 9.15 The Lord of hosts shall defend them. 
When will he defend them? When the blood is sprinkled on them, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of hosts means the Lord commanding a battalion of angels armed, ready to go to battle, will defend you. When will he defend you? When you are sprinkled with the blood. So as you are sprinkled with the blood of Jesus, throughout the sea, God commanding a battalion of angels are ready to go to battle will defend you the remaining days of the sea in the name of Jesus Christ. He will defend you in the name of Jesus Christ. And then he says, and they shall devour and subdue with sling stones. Number eight. When the blood touches you, God releases sling stones to devour and subdue your enemies. And they shall devour and subdue with sling stones. So when the blood of Jesus a sprinkled on you. In the spiritual realm, spiritual stones are released to subdue and devour your enemies. So as the blood touches you today, your enemies will be receiving stones that will silence them in the name of Jesus Christ. These spiritual stones, you know, when a stone is thrown with a speed that is more than a gun, that is very dangerous. And with sling stones, they shall devour and subdue. So when the blood touches you in the spiritual realm, God releases spiritual stones to devour and subdue your enemies. All your enemies will subdue in the name of Jesus Christ. Number nine, lastly, verse 16. And the Lord their God shall save them in that day as the flock of his people for they shall be as stones of a crown lifted up as ensign upon this land. The Lord shall save them. The word save means deliver. The word save means rescue. When we leave rescue, when the blood of Jesus is sprinkled on you, the Lord will rescue you. The Lord will deliver you from bondage. When the blood of Jesus was applied in a figure in a figure in Egypt, God delivered Israel out of the bondage of Egypt. So when the blood of Jesus is sprinkled on you, God will destroy the forces of captivity. He will destroy the forces of slavery. He will destroy the forces of bondage. Israel were slaves for 400 years. No one became important in that society. Why? They were drawers of water and viewers of all. They were slaves. But when the blood was applied by sprinkling, that captivity was destroyed. That bondage was destroyed. So as the blood touches you today, any form of bondage, any form of captivity will be destroyed out of your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. All the forces that have taken you as a slave will be destroyed out of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Going to declare with the Father by this blood of sprinkling pass over my life. Cover my life. Take every evil, every plague, every destroyer away from my life. Go out this year in Jesus name. Pray that prayer in the name of Jesus by this blood of sprinkling. Even the Father see the blood pass over my life. Cover my life in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Keep every evil, every plague, every destroyer away from my life, away from my spouse, away from my children, away from my family, marriage business, career finances, away from this ministry, away from my brothers, away from my sisters, away from my parents. In Jesus' name, Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, by this blood of sprinkling, see the blood pass over my life, come over my life, take every evil, every plague, every destroyer, away from my life, away from my destiny, away from my colleague, away from my sports, my children, my family marriage, business career, finances, away from this ministry, away from my brother, sister, sister, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Number three, we're going to declare by this blood of sprinkling, Heavenly Father, restore double my former prosperity. Restore double my former prosperity. In Jesus' mighty name, Heavenly Father, by this blood of sprinkling, compass me with your divine favor, and by your favor, bring double restoration of prosperity to my life. In Jesus' name, pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by this blood of sprinkling, compass me with your divine favor, by your favor, bring forth double restoration of prosperity into my life, double restoration of my prosperity into my life, in Jesus' name, by this blood of sprinkling, bring now double restoration into my life, in Jesus' name. Jesus name, my heavenly daddy, by this blood of sprinkling, bring now double restoration, double restoration, in Jesus name, double restoration, all that was stolen from my life, from January up to today, bring forth double restoration, in Jesus name, whatever was stolen from my life, from January up to November, in the remaining days of this year, by this blood of sprinkling, compass me with your divine favor and bring forth double restoration of prosperity, double restoration of prosperity, double restoration of prosperity in Jesus' name. Going to pray number four. God, Heavenly Father, by this blood, be seen over my life throughout the remaining days of this year be seen over my life my spouse, my children cover my life be seen protecting us be seen preserving us and execute judgment against all our oppressors in Jesus name pray that prayer in the name of Jesus Heavenly Father in Jesus name by this blood of sprinkling Heavenly Father be seen over my life. Be seen over my destiny. Be seen over my spouse, my children. Be seen over my children. Be seen over my family marriage. Be seen over finances. Be seen over this ministry. Protect us. Cover us. Defend us. Protect us. Preserve us. My spouse. My children. My family. Marriage business. Career finances. This ministry. Brothers, sisters, parents, now in Jesus' name, by this blood of sprinkling, be saved over my life, over my destiny, over my calling, over my spouse, my children, my family marriage, business career, finances, this ministry, brothers, sisters, parents, be saved, protecting us, preserving us, keep every evil, every plague, every destroyer. Away from my life, away from my destiny, my calling, my spouse, my children, my family marriage, business career, my nurses, this ministry, brothers, sisters, parents, in Jesus' name, Heavenly Father, by this blood of sprinkling, execute my judgment, find all the oppressors of my life, of my destiny, of my calling, my spouse, my children, my family marriage, business career. 
finances, this ministry, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Prayer five. Heavenly Father, by this blood of sprinkling, release your arrows as lightning to paralyze the satanic plans to scatter all my enemies and to destroy all my enemies in Jesus' name. Pray that prayer in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, by this blood of sprinkling, release your arrows as lightning against all my oppressors. Release your arrows as lightning to destroy all the satanic plans from my life, my destiny, my calling, my spouse, my children, my family, marriage business, career finances, this ministry, brothers, sisters, parents now, in Jesus' name, by this blood of sprinkling, even the Father, in Jesus' name, release your arrows to go forth, to scatter every satanic killer and occult castles that have gathered against my life, my destiny, my calling, my post maturity, my family marriage, this career, finances, this ministry, great race conference, in Jesus' name, Heavenly Father, by this blood of sprinkling, release your arrows to scatter all the satanic. And the cult councils of the witches, the ogres, the sorcerers, the diviners, the enchanters, the freemasons, the swiping. In Jesus' name, get them out of the way. In Jesus' name, Heavenly Father, release your arrows as lightning to destroy all the enemies, all the oppressors of my destiny, my calling, my spouse, my children, my family marriage, business career. Finances, this ministry, brothers, sisters, Paris now, in Jesus' name. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Prayer 6. Heavenly Father, by this blood of sprinkling, go forth as a whirlwind. Clear out of my way all my enemies, obstacles, hindrances, blockages, barriers. Create an easy passage, easy pathway for me to prosper, to succeed. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, release your will way, your wild way against the wicked and blow them to the dumping side as rubbish. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Pray that prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, go forth. Go ahead of me this year. Ahead of my sports maturing, my family marriage, business, career finances. Ahead of this ministry as a wild way. In Jesus' name. Destroy now, devour now, destroy all the obstacles, the hindrances, the blockages, the barriers, walls, the limitations, the sons of anarchy completely destroy them in Jesus' name. Get them out of my way, out of my destiny, out of my calling, my spouse, my children, my family marriage in Jesus' name. My heavenly daddy, go for ahead of me this year. As a one way, clear all the obstacles, all the enemies, all the hindrances, the blockages, barriers, walls, limitation. In the name of Jesus, clear thing out of the way. Create an easy passage, is a pathway for me to prosper, to succeed, to flourish, to encounter financial, business, career, breakthrough. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, release your one way to blow the wicked into the dumping site as rubbish in Jesus name release your world wing to blow against the satanic and the county councils scatter day destroy day scatter day destroy day scatter day destroy day in Jesus name thank you mighty God in Jesus mighty name we are praying prayer seven heavenly father by this blood of sprinkling you and your host of angels defend me the remaining days of this year, defend me, my life, my spouse, my children, all that concerned me in Jesus' mighty name. Keep every evil, COVID-19, away from our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Pray that prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, 
by this blood of sprinkling. You and your host of angels defend me, defend my life, defend my destiny, defend my calling, my spouse, my children, my family, marriage, business, career, finances, this ministry, all that concerned me for the remaining days of this year in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, by this blood of sprinkling, you and your host of angels defend my life, defend my destiny, defend my calling, my spouse, my children, my family, marriage, business, career, finances, this ministry, in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, by this blood of sprinkling, keep every evil, every plague, including COVID-19, away from my life, away from my destiny, away from my calling, away from my spouse, my children, away from my family, marriage, business, career, finances, away from this ministry, away from all that concerned me, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Number eight, Heavenly Father, by this blood of sprinkling, release your stones to subdue and devour my enemies throughout this year. In the remaining days of this year, let the stones be flying. Let them be destroyed, be subduing all my enemies. In Jesus' mighty name, pray that pray in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, by this blood of sprinkling, Release your stones to pursue and subdue and devour all the enemies of my life, my destiny, my calling, my spouse, my children, my family, marriage, business, career, finances for the remaining days of this year. In Jesus' name, Heavenly Father, by this blood of sprinkling, release your sling stones to pursue and to subdue and to devour all the enemies of my life, my destiny, my calling, my spouse, my children, my family, marriage, business, career, finances, this ministry, brothers, sisters, parents, now, in Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, I declare, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, release your sling stones to pursue and to devour and to destroy all the obstacles, the hindrances, the blockages, the barriers, walls, the limitation, and get them away from my life, from my destiny, from my calling, from my spouse, my children, my family, marriage, business, career, finances, this ministry, in Jesus' name, Heavenly Father, by this blood of sprinkling, release your sling stones to pursue and to devour all the enemies, all the obstacles, all the hindrances, all the blockages, all the barriers, the worst limitations, the sons of anarchists, the opposition, the resistances, completely crush them, destroy them, get them out of the way. In Jesus' name, create an easy passage, easy pathway for my life, my destiny, my calling, my spouse, my children, family, marriage, business, career, finances, this ministry to prosper, to succeed, to flourish, to go forward. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Lastly, Heavenly Father, by this blood of sprinkling, destroy every captivity, destroy every bondage, destroy the forces of slavery out of my life, out of my spouse, my children, my family, throughout this year. Heavenly Father, cause me to shine. Cause me to shine in Jesus' mighty name. Go ahead and pray that prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, throughout this year, Heavenly Father, by the power, by this blood of sprinkling, destroy all the forces of bondage, destroy every captivity, every bondage, all the forces of slavery, out of my life, out of my destiny, out of my calling, my spouse, my children, my family, my rich, business, career, finances, out of this ministry, brothers, sisters, Paris, Lord, that concerned me in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, by this blood of sprinkling, in Jesus' name, I destroy now, in Jesus' name, every force, all the forces of captivity, all the forces of bondage, all the forces of slavery, I destroy you out of my life, out of my destiny, out of my calling, my spouse, my children, my family, marriage, business, career, finances, out of this ministry, in Jesus' name, by this blood of sprinkling, Heavenly Father, destroy completely all the forces of captivity, all the forces of slavery, 
all the forces of bondage out of my life, out of my destiny, out of my calling, out of my spouse, my children, my family, marriage, business, career, finances, out of this ministry. In Jesus' name, Heavenly Father, throughout the remaining days of this year, cause me, my life, my destiny, my calling, my spouse, my children, my family, marriage, business, career, finances, this ministry to shine. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Like declare over your life all the forces of bondage, all the forces of captivity, all the forces of slavery, they are all destroyed out of your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Just like when the blood was sprinkled in Egypt, God delivered his people. By this blood of sprinkling, you are delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. The remaining days of this year, you will shine in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Tell him, Baba, thank you for doing it for me. Thank you for the covering. Thank you for defending me. Thank you for sending your arrows to destroy all my enemies. Thank you for going forth as a whirlwind to destroy all the obstacles. Create an easy passage, easy pathway. Thank you for defending me. Thank you for destroying every bondage captivity. Thank you for releasing stones to subdue and devour my enemies. Thank you for destroying the forces of untimely Thank you for covering my life. All my family. Thank you for double restoration of prosperity. Thank you for your favor. It is done. In Jesus' mighty name we have appreciated our Heavenly Father. The remaining days of this year shine in the name of Jesus Christ. Shine in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. It is done. Put your hands together for Jehovah. He's a good God. So throughout this year every day sprinkle blood in your houses and sprinkle blood of Jesus on you. Take water and say, Heavenly Father, I bless this water convert it to the blood of Jesus in Jesus' name. Done. That is the blood of Jesus sprinkled on you, on your family, on your property every day of the remaining days of this year. And stay safe in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we package our offerings? Whatever you brought to worship the Lord, your tithes, your offerings, your sacrifices, let's give them to Jesus Christ. If you need an envelope, Ashes will help you in Jesus' name. Now let's be on our feet and give our offerings to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, our yes, milk is hidden. We are the great high priest of the covenant. We receive our offerings in tithes. We step to worship the Father in heaven. Heavenly Father is serving in heaven. Bless us your people. Open the windows of heaven. Bless us your people. Make us a peculiar people. Lift us above the nations of the earth. We build the Father for six. Cause the forces of the Gentiles to flow into our hands. In Jesus' name, you are praying. Even in place you may be sitting. I believe you are blessed. So do the blood of sprinkling daily in your homes. It's the simplest thing to do. Jesus mighty name. Amen. May the Lord go with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Exodus 12 13. I decree the blood of Jesus cover over your lives, families, properties, homes, houses, those that concern you in the name of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus cover Command every evil plague destroyer to stay away from every area of your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare Psalms 121, 7 to 8. Whatever journey you ever make, you're going out, you're coming in. It's guaranteed in the name of Jesus Christ. Psalms 91, 7. Because you've made God your refuge and shelter, I declare that which kills thousands, tens of thousands in the world will never come near you, your family, or your property in the name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 54, 17. Whatever weapons, wars were fashioned against you, none of them will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Numbers 6, verses 24. I bless you. According to Numbers 24, 
the low place thing, your family, all that concerned you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord keep you, your family, all that concerned you, throw out this week in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord make his face shine upon you, your family, all that concerned you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord be gracious to you, your family, all that concerned you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord lift up his containers upon you, your family, all that concerned you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord give you peace by all means, you, your family, all that concerned you in the name of Jesus Christ. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel. I will bless thee. You are blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. As your spiritual father, I declare it is well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. Flourish in the name of Jesus Christ. God be a wall of fire round about your lives. Keep every evil, including COVID 19, away from your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be in Jesus' much need. Amen. Shall it be on our feet as we shall be goodness together? Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. I'll fulfill my days. My family will fulfill their days. I am the blessed of the Lord. I am uncastable in the affairs of life. I have given. I am abundantly supplied. All my bills, all my debts are supernaturally paid. I'm kept by the power of God in my part of this life, and there is no death. I have favor with God, and I have favor with men. Open heavens, open doors is my portion. I live heaven on earth by the stripes of Jesus. I am healed. Healing belongs to me. I have my liberty. In Christ Jesus, with long life, will God satisfy me. I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I have made God my refuge and my fortress. By my God, I'm exempted from all evil. Only God's goodness and abundance will pursue me and my family for the rest of this year. And this year, 2020, Supernatural divine enlargement is my portion. 2020 and supernatural divine enlargement and may that be so for you in Jesus' name.